Hello, I'm Rick Stivers with Young Martin's Reels, and today we're going to be working on this Johnson Sabre 4 um, spin cast reel. We're going to take it apart, clean it up, lubricate it, and inspect it, and then put it back together. The first thing we're going to do is take the cover off. Okay, now we're going to hold the handle tight while we unscrew the rotor. With that done, we're going to take a screwdriver and pop this clip right here off. At least that's the plan. There we go. Clips off. Now we can remove the rotor. Now we're going to remove the handle. Then remove these three screws in the side plate. Okay, notice that the back screw that is much longer than the other two. So the two forward screws are much shorter than the back screw. All right, with that done, we're going to try to remove the side plate. Okay, be careful when you take it apart because as you can see, we've got a bushing right here. Okay, that's held in by that screw. Well, that long screw, this is going to fit through it. So what you're probably going to want to do when we go to reassemble it is that'll be on there. You'll hold it in place and put it through. Now, notice that this grease is completely packed up inside here and crusty. See how it's coming out in chunks? All right. That's probably why this reel doesn't function very well. All right. So we've got the side plate off. Next thing we're going to want to try to do is remove the main gear. Let's take our time and examine it. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and remove our drag plate here if we can. Let's pop it up and out. There we go. Notice that this end of it at the top fits into that screw on the drag adjuster. Now we can go ahead and unscrew that screw all the way and remove the screw out of the drag adjuster and now we can remove the drag adjuster wheel. Okay. All right, this is your anti-reverse dog here. And we've got a spring here. I'm trying to keep an eye on this spring. All right, now that spring wraps around the main gear here. It's kind of difficult to see because of all the grease. So I'm going to come back and show it to you after we get the grease cleaned off and show you how it fits in there. But that spring is clamped down around this gear and it that's what moves your reverse dog back and forth right there can't do it right now because all the it's the grease is so caked on okay we're gonna go ahead and revert remove the anti-reverse dog it should be just this pin that comes out and it does all right this pin comes out straight out and the reverse dog comes with it like that all right all right set it over to the side we'll clean it up now we can take the main gear off there comes your main gear out. Now note that along with that main gear came this ball bearing on this side. You've got another ball bearing on this side. We can't hardly see it because of all the grease caked on, but we're going to get to that and clean it up. Okay, so we got two ball bearings, one on each side. Okay, take that out. Now we should be able at this point to remove the button. There we go, your release button. With that out of the way, we should be able to pull the axle shaft out. There we go. There's the axle shaft out. All right, so that's all the parts removed. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through and clean all the parts. I'm not going to talk during all that. We're just going to scrub up all the parts. You can see me scrub them. But um, when I'm done with that, we'll come back, lubricate, and reassemble this reel.
All right, I've spent a lot of time on this particular part right here because there's a lot of, there was a lot of grease caked down inside the pinion uh, gear. And so I really needed to get that out of there. And I've gotten it out and got this bearing freed up to where it's now spinning again. And, um, but take your time, make sure that you get everything out. Any, those chunks of grease that get stuck in these, uh, if you leave that in there, it, your reel is going to catch and bind as you try to wind it. Okay, at this point everything's been cleaned up. Everything's been scrubbed and functional and now we're ready to start putting it back together. The first part we're going to want to put in is this axle assembly with the pinion gear. Okay, we're going to grease it up. I always use a fishing reel grease to lube these, and um, that would be the pen is what I use. I use pen reel grease, and I use pen oil. Um, the gear itself should be greased, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and grease the gear. But now the shaft, it's, the shaft on this, I always oil the shaft. And the reason I do is because it's a sliding surface. It has to slide against the inside of the case. And if you grease it, it has a tendency to create drag. And I don't like drag in my reel. I want it to feel um, like it's ready to take off. So I always use oil on that. The next thing we're going to look at is your main gear. By the way, before we put that in... I said earlier that this reel has bearings. I was wrong. The bear, this reel does not have bearings on the sides. These are bushings. And uh, they just fit right into the side. One on each side, but they are not bearings. This is not a bearing reel. These are bushing reels. Okay, I've got that in there. We'll put this back in. Now that the bearing is in. This is our main gear. Now, I told you earlier that I would bring you back and show you this spring right here. So this spring is snapped on around the shaft here. And see, it's in this groove right here. And when we put that in, we're going to line it up after we uh, put the shift dog in. It has to line up on this spring right here. And that's what actuates it back and forth. So, let's go ahead and grease up the teeth on the gear. And then I'm going to use oil on the shaft. And we're going to slide it down in, and it should mesh with the pinion gear, which it does. Now, it's time to go back and put the button back in. Just snaps in right there. I got it in too high because it has to be able to clear this bottom right here. So when you put it in, make sure that that bottom clears so that when you put it in, it's going to be able to push like that. Okay? See, it's got that lip right there. And that lip, if you've got it above there, will keep the button from pushing. You snap it in to the hole that's on the other side, and that'll now allow it to work. Hold it in place if you're going to operate it. Okay, smooth. Next, let's go ahead and put our drag knob back in. Put it in and the screw goes back in. And it screws into the knob. Go ahead and screw it until the head of it is all the way down flush. Now I will tell you from past experience, if you ever come up on one of these and it's really, really tight, don't try to force it. Give it lots of lubrication before you ever try pushing it because I have snapped those screws off. They're brass and they're very easy to snap. So 
Uh, if it doesn't want to turn when you go to screw it or unscrew it, go ahead and use your um, penetrating oil to get it down in there and hopefully it will break free and start working functionally. All right, that's got that reinstalled back in there and the screws in. Now we're going to go back to the shift dog. Chip dog has this pin right here. The pin's going to hold it in place. It goes into that hole. But you've got to get it over to where that wire spring fits. I'm going to get you up close so you can see, I hope. All right, see the wire fits into the shift dog. So that when this rotates, it moves out of the way, and when it kicks back the other way, it pulls the dog back in and locks it. Okay? Now we've got this. We're going to put that in last, I think. Yeah. Because it's going to go into the cover and go into that screw. Uh, what do we got? I think I'm ready to put the side case on. All right, so you take your really long screw, put it in the back hole on the side case, slide it in, then take the bushing and slide it over that. Now when you slide your side case on, everything should fit back in where it's supposed to be. And snap into place. Okay, we can go ahead and screw that screw down. Don't take it all the way. Just tighten it down to secure it a little bit. And it's not in lining up. Okay. Okay, I can see. There you go. Let's see if that'll do. That seems to be straight now. Yeah, what had happened, that bushing had, was in there crooked. It had slid over to the side, and uh, it wasn't lined up to the hole. So make sure you've got it lined up straight. Make sure the bolt, is, the screw is sticking in straight this way and this way, and you should be in good shape. All right, it's got all those screws back in. Now we're coming back over here. This screw head here for the drag washer has got to be straight. Okay, if it is straight, you should be able to take your drag washer here and slide it into that screw head like that and then slide it in. All of that should line up perfect. I want to point out this piece right here, there's no need to take it out unless it's bent or something needs to be replaced. Uh, but this piece is your clicker. That little point will ride along these grooves right here on the bottom, and that's an audible clicker so that when the spool is rotating, you can hear and know that your drag is in operation. Okay, here, here, you go. here we go. We're going to listen to it. Okay, now I'm going to take for a second, and we're going to clean this up. All right, this particular reel has got a felt around it and what this basically amounts to is a um, it's almost like a pipe cleaner that they've wrapped around here and then it's twisted in and tucked in uh, don't damage it be careful with it don't put a lot of solvents or anything on it because it might even dissolve it so just leave it alone um, you'll see it at the first it looks like it's all dusty there but it's not that's just a uh, it's like a brush that uh, helps clean clean the line all right here we go we're gonna put this in there we go. There's your drag washer. And then your clip goes back on. Just line it up. Make sure it's in the slot. And click it into place. All right. That's going to bring us up to the rotor. Now this rotor, I forgot to clean it. So let's go ahead and do a quick clean.
All right, this is your line feed, line feed pin, and um, when you push the button, this goes in. When you wind it, it pushes out and grabs hold of your line and winds it in. Um, now, I've cleaned this with WD-40, but if I was to just leave it at WD-40, what would happen is um, the WD-40 would dry up out of there, and in a very short period of time, we would have an unlubricated line feed. So, what you want to do is put one or two drops of real oil on it, work them in, because that will stay in there for years and years and years to come. Set it back in place and screw it on. Get it tight. That's sweet. Okay. Next thing that's going to go on, let's clean the cap. This one's pretty dirty inside. Brush it out. Hmm. Something to be careful of. There is a collar on the tip up here and if you push too hard on the inside you can pop it out like I just did so you don't want to do that because without that collar that's a pretty sharp edge and it won't take it long to uh, cut your line okay let's feed the line through reinstall the cap Turns out it's cleaner than it looked. Okay. Handle goes on. Reinstall your screw. Okay, line feeds good. Okay, wind it. Okay, your drag is dragging. Let's tighten it down. There we go. At this point, we're going to stop. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to come back in a second and show you what I did wrong. Okay. At this point, I can see what we did wrong. When I tightened down this screw, I tightened it down too much and it put pressure on the reverse dog, keeping it from functioning. Let's try this again. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I don't leave my mistakes out. Um, a lot of this I'm learning as I go. And uh, I'm just showing you guys what I'm going along and figuring out how to do as I go so some of you may have already caught what I did wrong again totally separate from what I did last time
I got in a rush to show you guys and I'm going to put this back on. I put it on without this bushing again. But it fell off of the screw while I had it off. All right. Lay these screws down. Make sure everything is correct before I put it back together. Shift dog, is, uh, the rever anti reverse dog is in the way, is in where it's supposed to be. Everything's lined up like it's supposed to be. Okay, we're going to put this back on with the bushing and back in okay and I've done it once more it's the same thing if you look I've got no anti-reverse again and it's because this screw is tightened down too much ease it up just a little bit and everything functions properly you can over torque screws and that's what I did on this one don't do not over torque that screw okay So there you have the Johnson Sabre 4 fishing reel, spin cast fishing reel. And for um, Swamp Killer out there, uh, there's that one. Tomorrow we're going to do the South Bend spin cast model 700. And um, we'll see where we go from there. Thank you.